Skill Specs has some advice for his opponent. You rush the spec every time. <gasps> oh! Thirty-two to sixty-three to seventy. That is an insane combo. There is no way he could have survived that, unless he had moonlight moths, of course. In our last video, we showed Skill Specs' arch enemy Torvesta, demonstrating how you can heal to ninety-nine in one tick with the new sunlight moths. Lots of players have been using the method to get instant heals without any eating delay. For example, Olag here has the moths in his inventory, planning to use them to heal up. He was clicking the moths properly. He healed with the first one, but right as he was trying to heal with the other ones, a J mod at Jagex HQ hit the enter key and hotfixed the method. That is the worst timing ever. Rest in peace to the moth method, 2024 to 2024. It was kind of broken. And welcome back to the debut album of your favorite band, Kempel Plan. We've got a lot to catch up on in this video, so let's get started. Project Rebalance has been tweaked a good bit, and there's a ton on the table. Here are the proposals from Jagex. First, the lower level Slayer Masters will still have their task lists pruned, and players who have unlocked task storage will be allowed to do so for free. They could be buffing Blast Mine and adding a diary reward for more XP. And don't forget that the Falador Hard Diary may only require the helmet instead of the full set. They tweaked the proposed rates of the rooftop courses again, though they pointed out that they're intended to rework the nature of agility. So these rewards might not seem great now, but wait for the bigger picture to emerge. Though a list of new possible shortcuts has us ready to hear them out. A shortcut from the fire pentagram directly to the dragon's eye? Count me in. And of course, there are more details in the dev blog. All these update proposals to agility, thieving, slayer, and mining have been warmly welcomed by the community, it seems. This week's update saw the Easter event come to Gilinor, so hop over and help the Easter Bunny get enough eggs for the citizens of Varrock. Sick Nerd was one of the first streamers to head over to help out. There's nothing here. Pile of chocolate. I bloody hate festivities. I hate Easter events. Two seconds later. Ah, uh, I did it, guys! I get Book of Egg and Egg Priest Vestments. What's Book of Egg do? Bro, if this came out back in the day, you remember when the, when the meta was standing in like Draenor Bank reading his ami book and flo showing off, bro? It puts an egg on your face, does it? F I look, um... This is f***ing reskinned Varrock armor. This is Varrock armor 3. Jagex made the Blood Moon boss heal less in Perilous Moons, along with other tweaks, and made the Eclipse at Ladle require 50 attack and strength. Pyrefoxes and Sunlight Antelopes have been improved for Hunter's Rumors, which will also tell you what tier your loot stack is when you're done. Nice. And speaking of changes, Pull 81 has closed, and to no one's surprise, everything passed. This entire poll was a long-awaited update to the mage training arena, some of the most complained about content in RuneScape. Matt K seemed to think the timing was a little personal, but I think we're all relieved that MTA will be a little bit better. Shays has become the first hardcore Iron Man that we know of to obtain Dizana's Quiver. He completed the entire Coliseum. This is an incredible achievement. He has never ever died on this account. The question is, will you be killing Sunlight Antelopes for the shards or attempting the Coliseum? Sick Nerds finally made it to Corrupted Gauntlet on his hardcore. I misclicked on the door! No way. Dude, stop, stop, stop. The loot bots. The loot bots are programmed to take it. A level 13 loot bot just stole your claws. <gasps> Listen, man, if you're gonna be dropping claws, just trade them over, man. Just, I'll take them off your hands, brother. <laughs> Our friend Nine Rain has felt some inspiration from the new music tracks.
amazing. This prompted someone to ask if there's anything Nine Rain can't do, and he admitted he can't get an enhanced weapon seed. That is a very dry, dry streak. Do I pray? Just play? We've been watching Foe learn the Colosseum. Oh. Ouch. That sucks, dude. That really sucks. Claim and restart. Nah. Nah, it's not worth it. I gotta get through three waves, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I gotta get through four waves. There's no way I'm restarting, bro. I'd rather die than restart at this point. You don't restart this late. And he rolled all bad modifiers. A big challenge in the arena. Yeah, practice is practice. Uh, Shockwave Colossus, Javelin Colossus, Manticore. Fantastic, bro. Uh, we're gonna die. Red flag. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just f***ing dead. I'm not even gonna try it, man. I'm just gonna die. I just clicked off stream, I killed you. I died. I'm high HP at least. That's big. In no time, he was back at wave 12 and ready to parry like a platypus. The struggle pays off in the end. Congratulations, foe. Nodraj is going for the perfect Zulra combat achievement and can't take any damage. No, I must click the prayer. Oh, it hit a zero. No, there's no way, bro. There's no way. It just, there's no way we just failed there on the last hit. Oh, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, better luck next time. Wait, what? We just got the pit too. Bro, what? No way! Never what mind. The? That's plenty of luck. Congrats. Oh, wave 10 completed. Oh my god, what is that? What? No way! Three of them? Oh my god, I have to complete that. Wait, what? You can get three of them at once? Oh, I can't believe this, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? I have to take this. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the boss again, man. I felt so good. All right, we're gonna claim it. Definitely, yes. I, I need those three crystals. Ah, uh, whatever. It's okay. I'll I'll come right back and try again. So I technically made 450 mil. They were 150 mil when he got them, but they've since dropped to about 30 mil and still falling. But this means Rice Cup has some unfinished business. Oh my god, that was scary. Dude, I was shaking at the end. Oh, the healing. Oh, the totems, bro. Oh my god, the fucking totems. That's crazy. We freaking got the quiver. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Caught with the single crosses back. He's gonna say the way now, probably. He's dead. Up oh, a good fight. I knew it. That's a big 125. Dino's a PKer with some serious PVM skills, too. The bees! The bee! Wait, wait. He's got an infernal cape, okay? I know he can do this. That was a horrible time for them things to spawn. Well, I didn't know it could hit that high. I'm just, just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Chat, we've done our PVM for the day. Okay. We got to wave nine. That's my success. I'm sad. All right. The Coliseum. No, genuinely, I think it's a good update. I don't know. I, I'll have to see what the elite PVMers are saying because I'm not an elite PVMer as I, as I, as I was reminded today. Okay. Well, when he does come back, I believe in him. He decided to try out the new armor without the quiver anyway. They're the combos we're looking for, man. Oh, 
that felt good. That was the burn stacked with the other prop. That is a 163 million gold piece PK as well. That dinosaur is not going extinct anytime soon. Unfortunately, this video is, but we'll be back on Friday with even more updates from the world of RuneScape. Subscribe so you don't miss out, and I'll see you then.